Hello everyone. I can imagine that there are a few people out there that want to know. So now, what is your favorite fan? So, I've got it narrowed down to two for the moment. These are just my favorite two desk fans. These are two Spruce Blue GEs. As most of you people who have watched my channel for a while know, my fan collection is strongly based around General Electric. Okay, see the two GEs up there? That fan has a GE motor in it, so I don't know. That might count. Um, here's GE All Purpose. It's a, it's a newer one. Um, everybody, here's a misconception about the GE All Purposes. Everybody thinks the ones that are made fully of, like, like the whole, like, even the back two is made of plastic. Everybody thinks those are the newer ones. Those are actually the older ones. Those are the first models. Those are the originals. Those were made in the 50s, and these were made in the 60s and 70s. This is actually a 60s one, and I have another 60s one uh, downstairs, but that one's in need of a motor, so I'm not showing that one right now. Um, that one's frost gray. And then there are the 70s ones that were the beige. Terribly ugly color, but, you know, I bet there's some people out there that like it. And here's a... I'll still have an A103, I think it is. And this is an F... Hmm, F12... Or F... Yeah, F12A2, I think. I think it's an F12A2. Let me look. Okay, here we go. Flip it over. F12A2. That is correct. These both have, are almost all original. This one has only got its plug replaced. This one is completely original. All original fan, runs perfectly fine, as you'll see soon here. So I'm gonna start with the personal fan, the one that's on the left. I got this one two days ago. So it's my newest edition. Um, I got this one at a flea market probably like seven, eight years ago. I don't know. Long time ago. So I've had this one in my possession for a while. Um, we're going to start up the personal fan first. This one, the blades on it aren't that good. So it's a little bit wobbly, but I'll fix that when I have time. There you go. That one runs real nice. Not getting zapped off this one. Okay. So there's the original switch. and turn it off. And here's your spin down. See those blades are a little bit wonky. Um, needs a balancing. So, and I'll, I'll do that when I have time. But right now is not the time. Okay, here's the second one. The all-purpose. Let's start up on low, and I'll probably only run it on low because on high it makes a noise. Because the uh, the rubber grommet in the middle of the blade isn't as good as it used to be. This one's also just the tiniest bit off balance. I don't know how it got that way. This I don't believe this fan has ever been opened up and cleaned. It just wasn't run that much. Low hour motor. Turn this one around. I actually will wait until the end of the video to turn it around. Um, there it is. We'll let it warm up a little bit. These old GEs need time to warm up. So I plan on letting that one get up to full speed. Oh, yes. I just realized I need to go grab the kilowatt. And then I can do a real kilowatt test on this one over here to make sure the motor isn't burned out on it. 
because it makes that buzzing noise when you start it up, so. Who knows if it's safe or not. This thing is so quiet. Until you start hearing the buzz. Here's the wind test. This is on low, by the way. My favorite thing about this fan is that it has no broken growth slats. When you find these, usually there's one or two of them broken. Sometimes even more. And sometimes they're, like, usually you'll find one and it's, like, really badly yellowed. This one was used in a dark, darker room. It was lit by natural light, or it wasn't lit by natural lighting. It wasn't lit by the sun, so it wasn't extremely yellowed. So this one's in real nice shape. Base has a few scratches on it, but other, other than that, it's perfect condition. And I need to clean it up a little bit. It's been dirty for a while here. And turn it off. Beautiful fan. Now I'll show you the backs of both of them. The back of this one. This is the back of the personal fan. So these both use the same motor, except they're just wound for different, um, they're just wound differently. This one's wound a bit slower. Wants to run a bit slower, and I think it draws a little. It should draw a little bit less too, because the blade isn't as pitched on this one, on the on the one on the left. This one's wound for one speed too. This one's wound for two, and it's wound for like one amp. I won't be surprised if this one drew way less than that, like maybe point six, point five. Um, my bet's on point six around there. Maybe maybe one amp. Who knows? Um, here's that original switch. Just crazy how some of these things can live, they can survive the times. And this little thing's still intact too, and so are all the, the grill things. The motor isn't quite warm yet. And there it is, there's the inside. We'll start off from the back here. <laughs> oh, wow. Let's turn that around. <laughs> this thing's a little heavy. And we'll get you start up on the back on this one. Maybe then you can hear the buzz. The buzz basically goes away making that weird noise because it's faced up against the wall you just gotta love it when you find a fan like this that's almost completely original it's got this stupid ugly plug on it it's the one right there a horrible horrendous plug um here's what the original plug would have looked like this is original molded plug that ge used for Quite a long time. Um, they used it on their box fans. They used it on a few other things I'd imagine too. Like their kitchen ventilator. They used it on the strap fans too. Um, I have one that has the original plug. I actually have a few. Alright people. Thank you for watching. And I hope you enjoyed. Later.